thinking about Christ the King. Christ is another name for Jesus. It's not a swear word, it just means special and chosen by God to be the king. Well, thinking about kings and queens, let's test your knowledge. Do you know who these famous kings and queens are? I wonder, how did you get on? We had Elsa, Henry VIII, Queen Elizabeth II, our Queen, Simba the Lion King. Would you like to be like one of these kings or queens? To live in a palace and to have servants and gold and banquets? I think I would sometimes. Now, was Jesus a king like this? Did he live in a palace and have riches and servants? Well, let's see what the Bible has to say. Jesus was equal with God, but Jesus didn't take advantage of this fact. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He was made just like human beings. He appeared as a man. He was humble and obeyed God. He obeyed him completely. He did this even though it led to his death. Even worse, he died on a cross. Even though Jesus was the king of the whole world, he was the same as God. He gave up his throne in heaven, his riches and his servants, and he came down to earth as a baby in a smelly stable to be our servant. And it's all because we needed his help. Let me tell you the story. God made the whole world and everything in it. He made the people too and gives us life. He is in charge of the world. He is the king. He is not a bossy, selfish king like some human kings. He is kind and loving and good. And the world he made is full of good things. But something went wrong. God is the king. But sometimes we want to be our own king. We want to be in charge of our own lives. And this is called sin. Sin causes lots of problems. By trying to do our own way, things our own way, we hurt each other and make a big mess of God's good world. And this means that we can't be friends with God anymore. It's a bit like when we do something wrong and we're grounded or... We have the technology taken away from us. That's what happens. We are separated from God as our punishment. But there's good news. Jesus came. And he took the blame for all the wrong things we did. For all our sin. So we are not punished anymore. We can be friends with God again. Jesus was so special that he didn't just die on a cross. He came back to life again. And now God has made him the king of the world. But we have to decide who our king is. There are two ways to live. We can be the king of our own lives, or we can have Jesus as our king. We can follow him and choose to do what he says and what he wants. Who will be your king? The Bible says that one day everyone will realise that Jesus is the King and that they will bow down and worship him. Sometimes it helps us to use our imagination when we pray. You can imagine that this is a throne. Maybe you want to sit on your sofa or on a chair at home. And when we're sitting on the throne, it's a bit like when we want to be boss of our lives. And we know that when we do that, things start to go wrong. But we could pray to God and ask him to be our king. You could imagine that you're kneeling by the throne and Jesus is on the throne. 
thank you, Jesus, that you died on the cross for me, that you took my punishment and took the blame. Sorry that I have been the king of my life and that I haven't made you the king. Please help me to follow you and please forgive me. Amen.